Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to set up Netgear Nighthawk X6 AC2200 Tri-Band EX7700 Wi-Fi Range Extender plus other useful information related to it like where to plug it after the setup, how to log in into the extender after the setup, how to reset it in case it's not working and how to use it as an access point. Also, most importantly, how to save yourself from getting scammed by fake Netgear technicians. Yes, you heard that right. So let's start the video. First and foremost, make sure your router is working properly and is broadcasting its Wi-Fi. Now plug the extender in the same room as your router and wait for extender's power LED to get stable. Now. We can set up this extender via Netgear Installation Assistant or Browser and via WPS. So let's learn the browser setup first. So grab your Wi-Fi enabled computer or cell phone and go to its Wi-Fi list. There you will see Netgear underscore EXT network name showing up. Connect to that network. Once connected, open a browser and in the URL or address bar type My Wi-Fi ext.net and hit enter. This will bring Netgear EX7700 new extender setup page. If not, then try my Wi-Fi ext.local or type 192.168.1.250 into the address bar to access the setup page. Also, be very sure to type this only into the URL or address bar because if you type it into the search bar then you might land upon third party websites and when you call them or chat with them they will scam you for hundreds of dollars by saying your device is faulty and needs a fix for which you need to pay so save yourself from this scam by watching our complete video on netgear scam plus share it with friends and family members who owns netgear extenders too the link is in the description Anyways, on the setup page, you will first need to create an account and then follow the on-screen instructions. Next, you will need to select your router's network name that you want to extend and type its password for confirmation and hit save settings. Also during the setup, you will get one Wi-Fi name option that you can enable or disable. So if you enable one Wi-Fi name then your extender will use the same Wi-Fi name and password as your router. So you won't be able to differentiate which one is the extender in your Wi-Fi list after the setup. Whereas if you disable it, then extender will use different Wi-Fi name than your router's Wi-Fi and by default it will come up as EXT at the end. In case my Wi-Fi EXT is not working for you, then we have made a video on how to resolve this issue the link is in the description. Moreover, just in case, if in future you would like to make any changes on the extender like changing its SSID or password, then you will have to log in into it first. So the method to log in into the extender after the setup is different than this one. We have made a video about that, you can check it too. Now let's learn the second method to set up the extender that is via WPS. So in this method. Make sure both your extender and routers are plugged in in the same room. Now first press the WPS button on the extender. You will see a blinking WPS LED on it. And within 2 minutes press a WPS button on the router. A solid WPS LED will confirm a successful WPS connection. Again you will be able to see the newly set up extender network name in your Wi-Fi list. If one Wi-Fi name is disabled. It will come up as your home network name underscore ext at the end and the password will be same as your router's Wi-Fi password. In case the WPS setup isn't working then it is very likely possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. You can enable it again with just 2-3 to three steps. For this you will just have to log in into your router and enable the WPS from there. Check out our videos on these topics too. Link is provided in the description. Moreover, in case your extender is not working or not setting up or even not showing up in the Wi-Fi list, 
then we recommend you to reset it first. You can do that by holding a paper clip inside the reset hole for 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. Now try the above mentioned setup steps again and we recommend you to place this extender halfway between your router and the location with poor Wi-Fi connectivity. Also place it away from bigger home appliances like microwave, refrigerators, AC etc. Also you can set up Netgear extenders in access point mode which provides faster internet speed than range extender mode. Check our video in the description on how to do it. Finally, if you found this video useful and you want to appreciate my efforts and research then do kindly hit like and subscribe button. It will be a great help. Plus, we keep on bringing videos related to routers, Alexa, printers, Roku and other home devices. So if you subscribe to the channel, you might learn few tricks for your devices. So see you guys in the next video. Till then, have a wonderful day.